We'll just do a couple of these for you. Um, again, you can work on either side. You can work on the left-hand side or you can work on the right-hand side, either one. Um, this is already in sines and cosines and I kind of like that because I can write this in sines and cosines. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this side. So the cosecant is really the same thing as one over the sine. And the cotangent is really the same thing as cos over sine. And if you look now, you always want to look at back of where you're headed, you want to have one denominator and oh my gosh, we have the same denominator. And then if I have the same denominator, I add the numerators and magic, it looks exactly like I had over there. Let's look at another one. Let's look at this one here. Um, this one here is completely tangent over here. So I'm thinking maybe I just need to see if I know something about the cosecant. And in terms of the rules, I know that, let's see, what do I know? I know that cosecant can be written at least as a cotangent. So that's what I'm going to do, because um, maybe that'll help me. Or, yeah. I don't know which one's the best way to do There's so many different ways that you could do these. Um, no, let's go ahead and, and change them all in the signs and cosines. It's kind of my, my normal that I like to do, so I'm going to stick with that. There's lots of different ways that you could do this, though. So I'm going to change these into signs and cosines and just see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to just check it. So I have that. And then ta uh, tangent is the sine over the cosine. So I've done that. Now, upon doing that, I can do this. Let's see what that gives me. And wait a second. That is the uh, secant squared, because remember, when you flip that over, and I think that's exactly what we wanted, yeah, because this guy, whoops, right here, secant squared minus 1 is equal to tangent which we've done it. Oh good, I'm glad I stuck with my games. Again, you can do it lots of different ways, but um, most of the time changing things into sines and cosines is a pretty good bet. All right, let's go ahead and look at 21. Here, they're already in terms of sines and cosines. So I think what we need to do is really simplify this. So if I multiply this out, si sine plus cos times sine plus cos, I'm gonna get sine squared plus sine cos, sine cos, um, and then cos squared. And then I'm going to get sine squared um, minus sine cos minus sine cos and then plus cos squared. Whew, that's a lot. Let's see if I can get rid of anything. That one goes with that one. That one goes with that one. And then these two is equal to 1 sine squared plus cos sine squared is equal to 1. And then these two are equal to 1, which happy days is equal to 2. 